Welcome to Marcus and James, the Lisbon Pirates podcast. Good morning, Tiago. Good, mo- good morning, Mark. How are you doing today? I have a rusty good morning, uh, r- rusty <laughs> pronunciation of good morning. I- I'm fine, and you? You're a little rusty. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, well, um, what's been going on with you? What's, uh, what's, what's been happening? Oh, January, I don't know. Uh, in, in a way, January, uh, I, I don't know how you live your uh-huh. January. January? Depressed? January? That's how I live my so, January. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Completely depressed. <laughs> I don't know what it why, is. Why do you, do I, why I, do you? I don't know. It's something about, you know, maybe there's some excitement when you start the new year. Yeah. But then it's cold, it's rainy, it's, yeah. you, it's, it's hard to get going yeah. sometimes. So. I, I, I was reading... Um, a friend, he, he has a blog, and he was sharing, even this morning, uh, the, and he was sharing that f- from his teenage years, January was all was always the January, February, February, the the, the whole winter was well, always a difficult right, season right. to yeah. survive too. Yeah. And I know that there are some people that winter yeah it, it affects yeah, them yeah, greatly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think because that right now we are 41 mm-hmm. I, I, I'm I, I'm realizing that I'm more um, I'm more I'm more prone mm-hmm. yeah. right now yeah. to feel some to kind feel of yeah, yeah. influence so. yeah although <laughs> so. I, I realize we shouldn't complain too much because we went to Germany last week and it was minus 10 Minus ten. And yeah. Then, and how was your your time there? It was great. It was it was fantastic. We had a really good time, kind of helping new colleagues in Europe yeah. adjust with language and culture and, and just this whole process that they're going through right yeah. now. So that yeah. was really good. Uh, but yeah, it was re- it was really cold. So I was really happy to get back to tell Lisbon. people because in the last podcasts you've been making me talk too much and I always talk well, too I w- much. Well, I want to make you talk too much this podcast. <laughs> but w- you should tell people that uh, they don't know that, but you lived in, in Germany for mm-hmm. some time and you are a, 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 um, um, you have a, a lot of experience of living in, in other places. And, and so I'm not yeah. even asking you right, right now about your childhood in Kenya. Sure, so sure. W- we'll have to make yeah. a podcast only for that. Right, right. But tell us a, at least a little bit about the time that you spent in Germany. Yeah, so we, we lived in Germany for two years. And it was during the time that we were in the military. Mm-hmm. And so we, uh, although we were working on a base, uh, one of the best things we did was we decided to live off the base. Mm-hmm. And so we lived in a very quaint German village. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a wonderful experience, two years after we first got married. Mm-hmm. So that was our first two years of marriage, yeah. living in a different culture, different environment. Uh, but it was really great. It was great for our marriage. So I, I actually would recommend that. If, really? if, yeah. <laughs> if you have the- I don't know if the marriages <laughs> would survive really? like your survive. Oh, it was fantastic. Because, okay, but think of, it, think of it this way. So the first two years of marriage, we were really far from yeah. Our parents, yeah. our home culture, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, just normal things like that. Yeah. And so it really made us focus on yeah. us and right. getting You're through right. things and communicating yeah. and figuring it out on our own. Yeah. Whereas I think sometimes in the first couple of years of marriage, yeah, you're right. there's you're such right. a tie to yeah. your family, which is not a bad thing, but it can be a bad yeah. thing. In Portugal, I, I, I'm already jumping into... A, a big simplification, yeah. but we have that problem. Right. Even right now, I would say that more, uh, uh, way above fifty percent. When we are helping other families, uh, uh, the the, dis- the the necessary disconnection, mm-hmm. the the good kind of disconnection that the Bible talks about yes. about you getting yes. married, uh, getting married, and getting away from you, yeah. your parents' place. Right. Uh, it's way above 50% of, in every couple that we try to help. Mm, they are always, in the majority, is always way too much connected still with to their, their parents. family of origin. Yeah. So, yeah, so I think there's two things that really uh, are difficult for new marriages. And so the first thing is exactly what you're talking about. This, uh, there's not a good leaving mm-hmm. model for, yeah. for kind of forming your own yeah. family. Yeah. And there's a lot of really unhealthy ties back to family yeah. or even relationships that instead of talking to your husband, you run back to your family of origin, yeah. talk to your mom about things. Yeah. Yeah. Or instead of, yeah. instead of talking to your wife and, and figuring out how to communicate and working through conflict, you go talk to your buddy about it or, yeah. you know, whatever, or your brother, your sister, your yeah. dad, or your mom. 
And so there's that. But then I think the second thing is that's really difficult nowadays, and I don't want to critique this overly, but when marriage is delayed in a culture, yeah, uh, yeah. then you, you tend to create your own yeah. way of doing things yeah. that later is very yeah. difficult to go back yeah. and rewire. Yeah. Does this that, is definitely that us. This is definitely us. You're talking about us Portuguese people. Yeah, the, 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 both both things. We they are they become huge problems. Right. Huge problems. Right. The first one, uh, you can sense that in a very unfortunate way of framing with words. Uh, our own ex uh, experience when people talk. Uh, for instance, in Portugal, when um, the the husband, mm -hmm. he says, my family, generally, is talking about his mom and dad. His family of origin, uh, right, okay, of interesting. Origin. So, and, 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 and I know that I, I go, probably I'm way, I'm way too uh, touchy mm -hmm. when I hear mm -hmm. that. And right. people in our church know yeah. that, knows that we, we almost um, force people to correct them and say, you have to say your family of origin mm -hmm. because it's not your family right, anymore. Right. Of course, it's still your family. We are still called to, to right. honor our father Absolutely. and mother. Absolutely. It's a commandment. Yeah. So, uh, but your, uh, this way of, of talking about my family, thinking about my mom mm. and dad, it, it, because it's even, it, it's a semi-Freudian mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. is right. Your daddy, mommy issues. And yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> so it just... <laughs> It, it, it does. It's very unhelpful. And the second thing that that, that, that you were saying, remember me, you were talking right. About? So like this idea that marriage is now prolonged, and yeah. so oh. you know we're getting married uh, culturally yeah. speaking, even yeah. in Portugal, but also in the United States, yeah. Yeah. it's becoming more like 30, 31, 32, 28, 29. Even inside our churches, it's, it's right. a terrible thing. And right. I, I I know that I, we are not going to be popular saying this uh -oh. but were we ever popular nah. <laughs> that's a good question <laughs> for our four listeners <laughs> for our four listeners we might lose one yeah <laughs> but w one thing i do know it's that uh um let me try to be fair saying this and, and i'm very good at being mm -hmm. unfair sure, so sure, sure. but i'm trying my best to be fair but we as a church we hate uh, namoros. We hate, uh, uh, how would you say, not dating your, yeah. Um, well, maybe like long-term dating. Yeah, yeah. 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 We really give a, we try to give a hard time to right. everyone coming here and wanting to namorar, right. wanting to right. date for, yeah. we, we are, we want to crush yeah. them. We want oh, to kill them. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, one of the first things I do is when I find out that somebody has a boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah. I start asking them really deep yeah, questions yeah. about like, okay, where's this going? What? And uh, it, it can be awkward at first, yeah. but uh, I think it can be used also to really help people really think yeah. critically about where they're going with what they're wanting to do. And, and, and let me just be unfair. I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah, not even it, trying it. to be fair right now. Tiago Unleashed, no, I love it. No, because 99% uh, of evangelical churches in Portugal will not bother you oh, if wow. you date for a decade. Wow. So wow. we are the 1% that right. will will want to kill you. When we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna and slap you around. You. <laughs> Maybe we won't kill you, but yeah, we'll but, slap you around quite yeah. a bit. <laughs> And, and let me ask you, so, so from your perspective as a pastor, why is this so important to us? Because we believe in, uh, we believe in the existence of human beings. Mm. <laughs> yes. We, we, and, we believe yeah, in God, yeah, yeah. but if we also believe that we do exist. Yes, and so yes. we believe in the existence of men uh -huh. and yeah. women. And so... And we believe that not only they exist, but they have cert certain features. Uh -huh. And um, one of the general features about men and women is that if they are uh, interested mm -hmm. in each other, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, because we are complete uh, right. beings, right. we have a body. Yeah. So if we love someone, yeah. our body will want to express that. Exactly. And there's exactly. no way of getting around this. See, and this is see, this is what I've always wanted to ask a Portuguese believer, but I've never had the courage to so, ask. Go away. <laughs> so, so I've wanted to ask. Like in Portugal, we do see a lot of evangelicals date for a very long time. Yeah, that's... And so my question is, they're having sex, aren't they? Uh, or, 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 or they're at least having sinful yeah, or yeah, unhealthy yeah, relationships yeah. And, with. And, and to be fair, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, we're in deep now. <laughs> no, you know this because, and I want to say this publicly. 
uh, me and Ruth, we dated mm -hmm. for two years and a half. Mm -hmm. And we were not pressured right, right. by anyone to get married. Uh, so, uh, and I want to say to you, we were virgins mm -hmm. when we right. got married. Right. But we were not having a, a, a pure relationship mm -hmm. as as um, sure. fiancés. Sure. As, as, yeah. As, yeah. yeah. And so this, uh, I hope it answers yeah. your your yeah. your yeah. your question because there's no way of getting around this. Uh, if you are a human being, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. or there's something really uh, mm -hmm. strange about you, right, and right. you don't want to express uh, physically right. what you spiritually exactly uh, right feel. Yeah. And and I don't believe. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe that's the case. Or. Uh, Or you're just having sex, of course, right, because right, that's right. what. Uh, and somehow justifying it, yeah. or, or just. Or you're not having sex, but you're 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 falling into a, a snare. Right. Uh, right. Unhealthy that's, balance. Yeah. You okay? You are preserving your. In the, it will sound bad saying like this, but you are preserving preserving copulation mm -hmm. in a way. Sure, sure, okay, sure. we will not copulate, right, right. but we'll live we'll, in a way. We'll, we'll do everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, and so, um, and, and that's not the way. Right, okay? right. Uh, um, that's not the way. And, and if the gospel is mm. not saying anything about this, exactly, exactly. we are making fools of the people that we read in scriptures. Right, right. Because when we go there, you have such a, a huge respect mm. for the fact that we are whole creatures yeah, exactly we are body and mind, mind. yeah, yeah. Uh, so you cannot uh, we become th this long dating thing mm. in evangelicals it's agnostic mm, heresy. it is it is it's agnostic yeah, heresy yeah. because or you are living as a hedonist exactly. and you're having sex exactly and, and people will not even talk about that anymore mm. and will say that it's an it's not it has nothing to do with the gospel which is right, right. Heretical. heretical yeah. exactly Or you are uh, teaching yourself to be agnostic mm. uh, uh, because you're trying to disconnect things that God made yeah. to be connected. Yeah. So w w when you date someone, you get a marriage. You get a marriage date. Marriage. Yeah, yeah. Set the date. You set the date. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. If you date, put, it's you put set a ring the on date. the finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, yeah. I guess Beyonce was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, so what do you say to let's say let's say you are talking to a young couple who are interested in each other, who have begun to date, and the, they're believers. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's your recommendation to them as you, as they're planning out their life, but also saying to you, uh, listen, we need to get to know each other better. We we need to wait for two or three years, five years, no, six years, no, no, because people say that all the time. No, no, so what do you, what do you say to the people no, like that? Uh, oh, uh, In a way, I, I would ask, what do you, what are your beliefs about mm. marriage? Mm. What do yeah. you believe that marriage is as a Christian? Of course, I, I wrote my first book was about exactly. Marriage, so so, I, so it's, it's I, touching I, a, yeah, a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could just go read the book and, and and let's have a conversation. But that would be a very marketing way of, of dealing with with stuff. Although it's but I've read the book. You should you should go read the book. You should go. But, read no, the book. but I, I I would just ask. Do you believe that marriage mm. is in any way connected with yeah. Jesus Christ? Yeah. And if it is, how does it connect? Mm. Yeah. Because powerful. if marriage is about Christ, mm. and I, 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 if you go to read the scriptures, you will yeah. uh, very yeah. quickly understand that marriage is about Christ. Right. Our marriage is a, is a, is a, a small illustration yes. of yeah. what our existence as human beings is and our existence as human beings is being a part of a community that stands as a as the the bride mm. of jesus christ yeah, for so sure everything in the bible yeah. in, in this sense yeah. is about marriage yeah so if 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 this is so 
man, you're in a big trouble. Or, or, mm. or it, it, you don't have to, we don't have to portray it as a trouble, but we, we are in, in a big blessing mm. that if you want to get married, if you are dealing uh, emotionally, uh, romantically, I don't appreciate the word, but okay, if you're dealing romantically with someone, you're getting into Christ's territory. Yeah. territory. Yeah. Yeah. And so if it is Christ's territory, yeah. if you believe in Christ yeah. as your savior, then you have to uh, align your mm. marriage projects with Christ. Mm. And then it's a whole other business. It's a whole different world, yeah. yeah. And, and I would say it, it sets a trajectory yeah. that will help your marriage for the rest of, its, yeah. of your life. Yeah. Because yeah. starting there as the basis, the foundation, um, you're just going to be able to to see marriage in such a different light yeah. rather than kind of kind of going about marriage in a different way and then year five year ten hitting these big walls yeah. these big frustrations and not ever understanding how all of this is inter yeah. interwoven together yeah. Yeah. and based on christ based yeah. on our relationship yeah. with them yeah yeah that's the thing wow. we, we weren't supposed to talk about marriage i actually wanted to talk about serial killers <laughs> <laughs> But instead, we're talking about marriage and sex and <laughs> yeah. all this kind of stuff. We can always say that in a way, marriage can be a, a pretty good serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of kills romance. No, I mean, <laughs> in, in, I have to explain that because we do like, I th and I th you mentioned it, romance is, is a kind of a loaded word nowadays. Yeah. Because we, we don't want to say there's not romance in marriage because there is. Yeah. There's, there's, as you fall Forms. deeper and deeper in love, there's... This romantic feelings and, and things that we do for one another and all that kind of stuff. But we do want to kill off the romanticized version yeah. of, of marriage, like you yeah. describe in your book. B because I, I guess that we are prone to accept marriage right now, at least in the West, mm -hmm. um, from the standpoint that it gives us romance. And mm -hmm. so it's a very partial way of, yeah. of understanding yeah. what marriage is. Right. Um, of course, romance. Thank God, romance is a is a is a, an important yeah, part yeah. of um, what marriage is. But ma marriage is way way much way, way more. more. Yeah. And see, that's the thing that I've. We're we're going to be this year is twenty years for us. So twenty, 20 way, years yeah, of marriage, which is great. incredible to think. We'll about. only be um, uh, seventeen. Yeah, which is incredible. <laughs> seventeen. I mean, but we are the same age, and yeah, and yeah that's a great thing. You Americans are, uh, let's get, let's get, let's get it yeah. going. Yeah, that's right, right. But that's one of the things is the longer we go in our marriage, uh, the more romance takes on a, a different yeah. perspective. And so romance is more now, it's less about the emotional, physical, and it's, it's even more about sacrifice and giving and loving and, mm -hmm. and, and, and being intimate in such a different way than it was originally yeah. or, or what we thought it was as we went into yeah. marriage. Yeah. And I think that's, that's, I think that's one of the great things that guys <laughs> with 17 years of marriage or 20 years of marriage can help with those marriages that are starting yeah. off nowadays. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know that even, even talking about, of course, we are talking from, from our own experiences mm -hmm. and experiences differ. So, but I, I think you'd agree with me um, when we can say even about uh, our uh, perception about what's physical about marriage. Uh, uh, do you know, uh, of course, th this can sound like a joke, uh, but um, sometimes uh, I say to people that, okay, the first decade, you, uh, in a way, you are making babies. You're mm. making babies. Uh, oh, yeah, L is, literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is not even the same thing as making love. Right, right, right. <laughs> But I don't. I don't. Want to We're just jumping into rated. it on this. No, I don't want to be rated in, in this in this podcast. But you understand what yeah. I'm saying. It's right. not even the same thing, right? Because, right. and this is a shock for mm. for a world that that really it's becoming gnostic again. Because mm -hmm. or it's all about the body, or mm -hmm. it's yeah. all about uh, the spirit, and right. and right. we are not. Yeah. We don't. Uh, incarnation is still a, a, right. a huge shock yes. to the world. Incarnation. Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ was fully man, fully God, and we as Christians uh, have, have to understand this: that that, that even inside marriage, uh, uh, when we are talking about having sexual relation relations, uh, people think 
that because they can have sex in, in mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. circumstance, because it's all about their freedom, they think that they are getting the best mm -hmm. out of that uh, out of that invention. Right, and, and they are not, not even not, because not even close. the yeah. best th thing that I do know from almost uh, seventeen years of marriage it's that even physically speaking. Yeah. Um, Having sex is not, uh, it's completely different from mm -hmm. um, if, if you want to say make love or, or whatever, but it, it, it's different because it's about something that has to grow spiritually. Mm -hmm. right, and so it's right. way more more satisfying physically because yeah. something spiritual is happening. Yeah, is happening. the connectedness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it yeah. gets better yeah. with time. It oh, really absolutely. Gets better with time. And see, and, and I think that's fascinating because like that goes completely against yeah. the cultural yes. mindset that you know you're going to get bored or uh how yeah. could you enjoy one partner for the rest of your life or all of these yeah. weird social kind of things that we've we've heard so many times and and what we're saying is that gospel centered yeah. marriage and gospel centered sex actually leads us deeper into intimacy yeah and yeah. not not yeah. away from it yeah yeah which is which is yeah. absolutely great yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I only want to say uh, another foolish thing. Oh, good, 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 because we're on a roll. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but last thing I want to say is sexual liberation gave us sex as uh, sneezing. So, like, uh, like, sex, like sneezing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sexual liberation. Yeah made sex a kind of sneezing kind of like a a, a reaction or yeah because or just, you it's quicker uh, <laughs> right you, it's uh, this is a sneeze oh, this, yeah exactly uh, it's a sneeze, sneeze. Yeah, yeah. bless you so, yeah <laughs> you understand what i'm saying uh, sexual liberation got sex in a way of uh, oh, 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 oh i have to sneeze ah oh. uh, oh, yes from, okay gotcha uh, uh, so it, yeah. it 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 made um a very uh, and this will sound esoteric, but it, it made a tran transcendental yes, thing yeah, only yeah. a sneeze. Right, only, a, right. oh, you feel you have to, you, you tinder almost, your way almost to Almost a it. natural reaction to, yeah, or, or the yeah, body's yeah, just yeah, reaction to yeah. w what happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah. And, and it's just stupid. People f think, and I know that this will sound that to a lot of years but pe people think that they are oh we are more free we are getting more of our own bodies no mm. you're, you're not yeah, yeah, no you're yeah. not you're 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 starting ending uh, repeating starting and you're making sex with lots of people in your you're not even making love you're just sneezing mm. with people yeah, sexually yeah. speaking right. I don't know right. if, that's if a this makes brilliant sense. phrase that's just so brilliant <laughs> okay it was you that that brought the conversation I, it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> this is all on you I buddy <laughs> I don't know that would be a good title though <laughs> sneezing sex sex sneezing I don't know <laughs> We'll have to work on that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, that's great. Well, that's something to think about. Yeah. Something to talk yeah. about. I know. I know. For for us, marriage uh, is a huge topic at our church. We always are wanting to talk about it. We always want to see the gospel work its way yeah. into each marriage, whether you've been married for ten years, fifteen years, or twenty years or more, or whether you're just yeah. starting out. Yeah. And so we want to see the gospel just be the foundation yeah. of everything that we're doing yeah. when it comes to marriage. So, yeah. Yeah. awesome. Well. This was a fantastic topic. Yeah, yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. I'd, I'd love to explore so, this more in the future. So. Yeah, yeah. It, it, next week we'll get on serial killers. There you go. So. There you go. Well, uh, as usual, the theological if, podcast. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Sexual liberation gave us uh, sneezing. <laughs> Ne on the next episode, serial killers. Oh, what are you listening to? Oh, it's a very <laughs> interesting <deep> theological <laughs> podcast. <laughs> there you go. I guess I guess it, it's a good thing that we're just gonna we're gonna approach any topic. So yeah, you just yeah, never know. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you have to tune in to see where we're gonna go like next. Like the kids say right now, it's random. It's random. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag random. So well, as as always, you're welcome to come by Lapa. Yeah. We're here Please on see. Sundays at 11:30 a.m. Uh, for our normal uh, service. So we'd love to see you here. See you at Lapa. Yeah, see you at Lapa.